Right, so I found a cool little service which allows you to send WhatsApp messages via IFTTT or other software like Home Assistant. I think it's rather cool. So, just show you how to use it pretty quick. So, so the service itself is called Call Me Bot. Well, it allows you to send messages via WhatsApp. From for any any service that supports web requests, essentially. So, so let's get started. First of all, you need to add it to your WhatsApp. So, you can visit this link here. If you're on a computer, you need to use WhatsApp Web. So, I'm I'm using WhatsApp Web. All you can do is on your phone, it takes you through to your WhatsApp on your phone. So, either way, it'll work. And it's going to bring this up with the phone number of the bot and you send this message I allow call me bot to send me messages you then press enter uh, and then, then it's going to start generating you an API key for you to use so notice my message is just been marked as red so the bot is starting work I will say Though, if you do trigger a message to be sent, it can take up to two minutes to arrive back through to you as a user. Yeah, yeah. They have some good documentation online on, on how to use their API. That's like, I just had the key, so call me bot is activated, it, and then it says my API key. It then also gives me the so you are with my key and my number already populated. So I'll click on this. As you see, it's the text. Is this is test and that's the queued. So this link is together. Is we can now add to IFTTT, for example. So I'm going to go on here, and we're going to create a new applet. So for example, I'm going to do whenever I like a video, so I'm going to go YouTube, YouTube, I'm then going to choose new liked video, Should click on that, I'm going to choose a web, web hook, make a web request, and put the URI in here. We are then here before the and, where it says this is a test, that's our actual method. I'm going to remove that, pick an ingredient, and put title. Oh, well, because that will be the title of the video that I've liked. So then I'm going to choose the method get. And for content type, we're going to choose text slash claim. And then click on create action. And press You'll see up here that, that we've got the message through this is a test from when we originally clicked on the link. And now, if we go over to YouTube, I'm going to click on this video. Just a random video by Mr. Beast. And I'm just going to click like and I've had some like videos so if we actually now come back over here and wait for this to recognize I've liked video I'm gonna actually speed this up by going into my settings and ask it to check now then we should end up getting a whatsapp message with the title of the video this can be practically used for anything I mean, for example if you use it with your alarm system Oh no, my internet's gone. That's not a good sign. I'll be back when the internet's working. Alright, my internet just came back. And as you see here, I've just had a message from Call Me Bot saying I'm giving my friend $1 for every thousand views this video gets, which is the title of the video. 
so I feel fine if this is not done that. Right, so you can use it to pass across messages from pretty much anything, and not just if this and that. Right, on their actual website, right, they have integrations for Open Hub and Home Assistant, so you could attach it to an alarm system or get a notification every time someone enters or leaves your house. This is also good, for example, if you want to set it up so you get notified whenever your favourite YouTuber uploads or whenever you get a comment on one of your videos it's just so you get notified because YouTube notifications work some of the time but most of the time they're a bit come and go. So this has been a quick little demonstration I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.